Now to a developing story in Brooklyn where a hospital is shut down and patients evacuated. As CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram reports, it all has to do with the flooding that caused serious electrical problems. CBS 2 cameras captured patients at Woodhull Hospital being put into ambulances and FDNY and New York City Emergency Management Transport Units Saturday, one day after heavy rain caused serious flooding across the five boroughs. We did not want uh, family members to hear that their loved ones were being transferred uh, publicly without us communicating with them first, and that is what this hospital team uh, did. Since the power failure, over 150 patients, including 17 who were in the ICU, are being transferred to other New York City health and hospitals facilities, accompanied by nurses. They are on the ball in terms of making sure that their most at-risk patients are taken care of. Council member Chi Ose, who represents parts of Brooklyn, says the hospital and its electrical system is outdated and needs major improvements. You know, Woodhall is a hospital that is in deep need of, of investment. The mayor held a news conference Saturday afternoon inside Woodhall, saying the evacuation was an interagency response that included the NYPD and FDNY, and it was needed. But in order to fix the underlying damage, uh, we need to fully turn up the hospital power. New York City received record levels of rain and flash flooding Friday, with Brooklyn one of the hardest hit areas, turning many roadways into rivers and flooding basements. Saturday, as the cleanup continued, damaged cars were towed away. This was the kind of rain that was once unimaginable. We called them once in a century storms. But this is the third time since I was sworn in two years ago I've had a once in a century storm. But it's a clear reminder uh, that this climate change is real. Uh, these storms are coming as frequent as we could ever imagine, and we have to continue to be prepared. And the mayor says, thankfully, there were no serious injuries and there were no lives lost. It's still unclear when the power will be back on here and when patients will be allowed to return. In Brooklyn, Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News.